Alright, welcome to mutation number 235, Fire in the Hole. This time we're going to do something a little different because this mutation involves boombots. And uh, since I'm by myself, I'm going to need a second computer. The ally is only going to be inputting the numbers. Well, it's me as the ally. So I'm going to have to do uh, the work of both, both players. And uh, also... I have to deal with the missiles at the same time. So here, the plan is uh, to use Manx. Manx is really good against Missile Command because his uh, his troopers are hit scan, so they can shoot down the nukes really quickly. The plan is to get some defenses for the uh, ally so that they don't die, and then uh, in the meantime, build an army. Here, I put a barracks. Uh, flow, I flow a barracks here so that I can get vision of the bot passing by and now input the numbers okay so one down and uh, after I get preliminary defenses to two people in each bunker I can start heading out I need a second I need to get ma a lot of mandates so I the plan is to use this hang out around the put the blimp near the near the first Bot, uh, not first bot, the first uh, ship. Get some mandate, hopefully get to 100. The goal is to get to around 100. Here I don't want to drop a bunker because I want to get to 100 uh, mandate as soon as I can to use the call down and clear some bases. Next boom bot is coming. So I see it, vision, okay. It uh, almost hit the barracks but didn't. It's really close. Uh, I, I'm using the mouse instead of a number pad because in the past I've had incidents where I typed with a number pad and I typed or I pressed too quickly. And as a result, uh, I actually ca uh, caused the bot to trigger. That was really close. The, that bot it spawned really close. And ideally, I wanted to come from the left side or the right side, but it came down the middle, and that was pretty dangerous. Here, the first call down is going to clear this base easily, and they're also going to spot for me. But since they're moving up, I have to go take a look. Okay, I briefly saw it, and then uh, I remember the number, and then I can defuse it. The plan is to clear the right, the base to the right of the expo and the base below, so that if there are any boombots, like or the, the remaining boombots, will all come from the top. And that way, this uh, blimp gives a lot of vision. The blimp giving vision is very key. It allows me to see, uh, to see the enemies come early, earlier on. The boombots they will walk up that path each time. I'm hopefully uh, going to clear the the map before like 20 minutes when the boombots start to get out of control. They come two at a time after 13 minutes, but uh, the waves and the enemies aren't as strong at that time, so I'm kind of okay. So instead of uh, triggering the ship, I'm just going to clear as much as I can. I, need, I want to use ESOs on the last ones because when you get towards the end... Um, the boom bots will spawn right there, and if you, if my army's there at the same time, I'm gonna get shot. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm, they're gonna explode on me, and that's not gonna be good for me. So I want to be far away from that as possible. Here, I'm gonna have a a hundred call down that should clear the top right plus uh, that right sh top right ship. And here, gonna get get to work. Here I'm gonna build. <clears throat> I'm gonna build bunkers, and uh, I got all the bunker upgrades, so that um, I'm I, I should be fine. And here, uh, I'm just going to defend. I can defend both sides at the same time. Next boom bot 
I saw the numbers so I could input the code even when I don't have vision. As long as I click on it beforehand. Three, four bunkers should be enough to hold for now. And then after this ship is done, I'm going to clear as much as I can of the rest of this map. The top left is almost clear, and then I'm just going to have focus on the, the other two, the top right and the top middle. I use the second uh, 100 mandate call down in the top, like the one o'clock base. And then that should clear most of it. Boombots are going up towards the top of the top of the main the natural. So I should be able to get vision and clear them. There are about two there are two structures left. And uh, unfortunately they're out of range of the ESOs. So I have to walk I dropped bunkers, but they keep the boombots keep spawning and there are also banshees there, so um I had to sacrifice some some army to get it. These are the last two bots, so I lost a lot of army, but uh, oh, I thought, oh, these are the last two bots, but I got rid of the structures, so I took a huge loss, but uh, but at least uh, the bots will be gone. There will be no more bots. So I lost that ship too, which was not worth it, but uh, now that the bots are gone, it's just a regular missile command mission, and uh, I just need to hold to the end. But uh, because I took huge losses at first, I'm going to have to rebuild, and uh, I'm. The plan is to just get lots of uh, lots of bunkers because each bunker adds an extra like four four hundred something plus HP. So I got the upgrade, so it's more than that. It's a lot of HP. At this point, I probably don't even need gas. That nuke, unfortunate, but the Nexus is still alive, so we're still in the game. I'm starting to salvage bunkers because uh, I'm I need some minerals. Gas is pretty much like unnecessary now, so I just need lots more minerals. This here I can use the nuke. Got rid of most of them. I think all of them actually, so we're good. Still two more ships. So this this one kind of dangerous so use the call down I don't think that was necessary because now uh, I don't have a call down for the next one I should have paid it been paying attention to the time but that's all right so we have two more ships and we're gonna mass bunker here get another command center another command center so that I can train like five people at a time here are these bunkers normally i would want scvs to repair them but at this here they're just they're just here to take like give me some extra hp extra survivability esos can just target random spots here a few scvs repairing doesn't hurt That, that was a good toxic, uh, yeah, toxic blast. And then I'll use the call down here to defend. And then the rest of my armies up here, just hold. Zerg comes in to help just in time. Now we have one more ship 
and same plan. Attack wave is coming, so I decide to send some people home. These guys can basically suicide bomb. Last ultra. All right, I don't really need the ESO, so I'm gonna I'm gonna salvage like whatever I can. All the bunkers at home. My buildings are probably not gonna die in the meantime, so I can salvage some of those as well. Just get tons of bunkers. Call down is just basically stalling for now. Just stall and then spam G to get weapons. And the rest of the money goes here, just troopers and weapons. And that's it.